Are there hidden treasures from Pompeii that still haven't been discovered, buried under layers of volcanic rock? Is there a secret military lab sitting under Mount St. Helens? What exactly could be hidden beneath the world's most dangerous volcanoes? Mount Vesuvius is probably one of the most famous volcanoes in the world. You've probably heard of it because of the eruption that destroyed Pompeii. Vesuvius has been active for thousands of years, and it's still dangerous today. It's also full of hidden treasures that give us clues about life in ancient Pompeii. Pompeii was covered in magma and ash, but excavations have uncovered everyday objects like pottery and tools, even food. And this stuff gives us a peek into life before the eruption. And some think there could be even more hidden deep below layers of ash and volcanic rock. As for what could be down there, no one knows for sure, but there's probably more than what we've already found. Recently, there's been a new push to explore even deeper parts of Pompeii, like some untouched buildings and sealed off sections. These places may have been protected by the eruption and could hold even more well-preserved objects. The layers of volcanic ash, while destructive at the time, also acted as a sort of preserver, keeping these ancient places in pretty good shape. Mount St. Helens in Washington erupted in 1980, and it was pretty catastrophic. It destroyed a massive chunk of the surrounding area. Forests were flattened. The ground was completely changed. Is there something more to St. Helens, though? Well, yes, there are conspiracies. Some people think there could be something hiding beneath Mount St. Helens. Government secrets. One theory is that there are military bases or hidden bunkers from the Cold War era. It's rumored that some of these bases could have been testing grounds for chemical or biological weapons, or even for secret experiments. There are also stories that some mining companies or big corporations could have buried valuable resources beneath the volcano, like precious metals or oil. Now, sure, these are just theories with little proof, but is it possible? Sure, after all, it's a remote area. It would be easy to hide stuff like this in a place that gets so little traffic. Mount Fuji is Japan's most famous volcano and is known for its perfectly symmetrical snow-capped peak. While it's an iconic symbol of Japan, there's also a lot of mystery surrounding it. There are tons of stories and legends about what could be buried beneath Fuji. Stories of treasure and religious artifacts hidden by ancient monks. Some legends say that during the feudal period, important members of society like samurai may have hidden valuable objects in the slopes of Mount Fuji to protect from invaders or enemies. The mountain may have hidden shrines full of sacred relics that were abandoned centuries ago. Archaeologists haven't found much to prove these stories, but the mountain is massive and the dense forest surrounding Fuji could be hiding things as well. The area around Mount Fuji is home to a bunch of caves too, and some of them are thought to have been used for religious purposes. The Fujisan Hangu Sengen Taisha Shrine is one of Japan's most important, and people believe there could be hidden chambers underneath it. Mount Etna on the island of Sicily is Europe's most active volcano, with eruptions happening almost constantly. Because of its activity, it's always in the news, but what people don't often talk about is what could be buried under it. Throughout history, Mount Etna has been seen as a place of power. Many have wondered if the volcano could be hiding something ancient beneath those lava flows. Ancient Greeks and Romans believed that the volcano was the home of the gods. Some even thought the god of fire forged his weapons in the depths of this volcano. So with that in mind, it's easy to see why there's this rumor that there might be some hidden treasures buried beneath it. Some even think there could be long lost temples hidden in the volcanic rock, possibly dedicated to the god himself. Again, there's no solid evidence, but it wouldn't be the first time that a volcano has been associated with hidden ancient objects. The eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 was one of the most violent eruptions in recorded history. It destroyed an entire island and caused massive tsunamis that affected regions as far as Australia and Africa. The eruption was so powerful that it's thought to have changed global weather patterns for years afterward. But what lies beneath Krakatoa? Is there more than just lava and ash? Well, some say that before the eruption, Krakatoa might have been a site of secret operations. So in the late 1800s, there were a lot of military operations going on in the area, especially concerning colonial powers like the Dutch and the British. So one tale goes that there was some kind of secret treasure or military equipment that was hidden 
on Krakatoa before the eruption. And on top of that, some people believe that the remains of an ancient civilization could be hidden under the waters where Krakatoa once stood. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa and a popular climbing destination. But aside from this towering beauty, there are rumors that Kilimanjaro could be hiding something deep inside its glaciers and volcanic rocks. Some people believe that ancient African tribes may have hidden sacred artifacts or treasure in the volcano, possibly to protect them from invaders. The most famous theory surrounding Kilimanjaro involves the Shampala, said to be this mystical kingdom hidden in the Himalayas. Some believe that the entrance to this fantastical world could be hidden under the peaks of Kilimanjaro. And sure, these stories are based mostly on legend, but they still fuel people's imaginations and they definitely make the volcano even more intriguing. Yellowstone is home to the world's largest supervolcano and it's located right under the famous Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. The park is known for its geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles, which are basically holes or cracks in the ground where gases, steam, and sometimes even volcanic fumes escape from deep inside the earth. Speaking of what's going on deep inside the surface though, you know where I'm going with this. Most people talk about the potential for eruptions here, but there are also conspiracy theories that the area could be hiding more than just magma and lava. Some theories claim that secret government bunkers, research labs, or underground facilities exist below the park. A lot of these ideas have to do with the fact that the place is, for one, pretty remote, and the fact that a lot of the land around it is government owned. So some think that these secret sites might be involved in experiments on everything from nuclear weapons to even extraterrestrial life. Mount Pele is a volcano on the island of Martinique in the Caribbean. It's famous for erupting in 1902 and completely wiping out the city of St. Pierre. Over 30,000 people died in the blast, making it one of the deadliest eruptions in history. And while that's terrifying, enough. There's also talk about some strange things that might be buried under the volcano. After the eruption, there were rumors about treasure buried somewhere in the area. At one time, St. Pierre was this busy port city with a lot of trade, and it was known for having gold and other valuable items stored there. So it comes to no surprise that some people believe when the city was destroyed, some of that treasure got buried under the volcanic ash and rocks. And if there's treasure, it also means there would be artifacts facts hidden in the volcanic layers, and ones much older than St. Pierre even. Since Mount Paley has been erupting for hundreds of years, some people think that older ruins or sacred sites could be hidden as well. Archaeologists haven't found any of these things yet, but the location's dangerous and remote, so who knows what might be hiding out there. At any rate, legends of treasure and lost objects are still passed around, even if we don't have any concrete proof just yet. Mount Taranaki, also called Mount Egmont, is a dormant volcano in New Zealand's North Island. It's pretty picturesque. It has a near-perfect cone shape, and it towers up into the sky. And as you can tell from these images, it really does stand out. But there's a lot more to it than just a pretty view. The Maori, who are the indigenous people of New Zealand, have a deep spiritual connection to this mountain, calling the mountain a living ancestor. Because of this, the volcano has a lot of cultural significance. There are stories passed down through generations of Maori that talk about treasure being buried near the mountain during times of war. People supposedly hid their valuables to keep them safe safe from enemies, and some of these treasures could still be buried there to this day. The mountain's steep slopes, forests, and caves make it an ideal hiding place for all sorts of items, from sacred objects to weapons or gold. Also, Mount Taranaki has had a few eruptions in the past, which means it could have buried important pieces of New Zealand's history under layers of ash and lava. Mount Rainier is one of the most well-known volcanoes in the United States. Sitting in Washington State, it's the tallest mountain in the Cascade Range, standing at over 14,000 feet. People love to hike there and visit the national park, but there's more to Mount Rainier than just being a beautiful spot for tourists. There's also talk about weird stuff that could be hidden beneath it. In 1947, a pilot named Kenneth Arnold claimed to have spotted strange flying objects near this mountain, which started this whole wave of UFO sightings in the US. Some conspiracy theories say that there's a secret government base or hidden research lab underneath Mount Rainier, where they might be studying UFOs or doing other mysterious experiments. And how dense and remote the forest is only reinforces this. 
On top of UFO theories, there are also stories about lost treasure and artifacts here too. Some people think that prospectors from the past might have hidden gold or other valuable items in caves or crevices around the mountain. So with all that said, I've been your host James and I'll catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video.